All right, let's go over the same shit thing again because I've spent about a half hour trying to kind of make sense of why this person wouldn't want to kill themselves. Um, because when I did things like this person just did, I wanted to kill myself. Like, I very much thought I had no self-respect for myself for the very simple reason of why would I participate in something that I think is nonsense? It just, like, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, the thing is, I used, I was doing that for a long time in my life, but, um, you know, I went through a traumatic experience. Uh, it took me a while to kind of get over it. Um, and, and, you know, that's just that, that's what that is, right? But, like, if this person thinks that they're perfectly mentally fine, there's something wrong with that. There's just like, it just, it just, it's, it's really weird. It's like, one, why would they think that I would listen to them? You know what I mean? Like, just start with this nonsense. Like, one, why, why, why do you think my life is nonsense as it is? Um, it's a, it's a, it's a weird accusation to make, um, if you're not personally involved, right? There's like, I don't know this person. So why would this person think that it's appropriate for them to make a decision one way or the other, whether my life is nonsense to that level, you know what I mean? To the level that they're involved in themselves in, um, that makes no sense. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I just, it's difficult for me because when I was doing things like that, the problem that I had with that was, I don't know these people. So why, why would I care about them? You know what I'm saying? Like the issue even right now that I'm having is that the, the, the post that that person responded to, there's real, those are my, there's my friends, people I actually know in my life who I, that's, that's who I should be interacting with. You get what I'm saying? Um, so there's no nonsense about me posting about them. But for this person who doesn't know me or them, ain't shit, right? So ain't shit doesn't know me or them, and yet is disinvested into making decisions as to what is and what is not. Because like when you're talking about what's nonsense, again, I'm talking about real life shit. This is my life. It's my fucking life. I don't. I don't know. You know, th this is the where it does get kind of weird to me because it's like I don't know if it's like a weird jealousy thing. Because let me tell you, I I look back and I'm like, yo, I cannot believe the way fucking life went, yo. You know what I mean, like. TC5, well, like, fucking Totem and uh and Doze Green, TC5, just those two, in, you know, in, in whatever. They, those not really, Totem not even really them personally, but TC5, that group, that uh, that crew, I grew up completely wanting to meet them and kind of have, like, connections to them. And then fucking later on in life with, you know, with fucking Edgar, it ends up happening. And then I try to get Edgar out of my life, and then I fucking, um, you know, I hook up with fucking Ralph or I'm trying to hook up with Ralph from, you know, my friend from New York. Um, and then fucking, um, then fucking it turns out that Ralph ended up being friends with the same people that are Edgar's family. So I never ended up, making, you know, I never ended up leaving fucking Ralph basically really. I never ended up leaving Ralph's circle. Um, Edgar, I tried to get him out of my circle and I couldn't. And then ain't shit for some reason believes that it's appropriate for her to insert herself into any of this. Like, I, I, it doesn't make any fucking sense. It doesn't. It just doesn't. Like, I there was a, a moment in time where I involved myself a little bit into like SF graffiti shit, just because like I think it, there was a fucking too much into it. There was like a graffiti artist that people were saying, oh, he did all this shit or whatever. And um, I basically, you know, kind of commented back and forth with random people on the internet about what my thoughts on it. Um, and even that, at the time, I thought was fucking crazy. Looking back at it, I think it's extremely stupid. Like, there's no, like, why would I? Like, that's the whole fucking point. Like, why would I even have been doing that? But that's what I'm saying. Like, I am acknowledging that this person doesn't seem to think there's anything wrong with themselves mentally. And yet, it is, is, it's, it's just... It's just a weird mentality. It's just a very weird mentality. Like, you, do you think I'm just going to shut up because you told me to shut up? Like, this is real shit. Like, if you're that invested in it, just like the other people I've mentioned, it's about let's do this shit outside of Instagram. The only problem I have with ain't shit, realistically, is like, why would I? Why would I? This person is fucking inserting themselves in my life. Like, that's I don't... That, 
they don't deserve that much respect. As a matter of fact, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't even understand how they have respect for themselves. So, it's just, it's just, this, this whole fucking thing. Um, anyway, though, that's what I'm saying. I got, I got other shit to do, too. But uh, I cannot talk about this enough because, realistically, I feel like they should be on suicide watch. I don't understand how... Like, either that or they're, they're cloud chasing, which is kind of weird to me, too. Because it's like, why are you cloud chasing off of me? I literally don't. There's no cloud to get off of me. But, like, leaving that comment is kind of like cloud chasing because it's like, who are, you t- who are you talking to? I don't have that many followers as it is. So, you know, and, and what I'm talking about has nothing to do with graffiti. So why do you keep inserting it and making it seem like it's about graffiti? So fucking weird. 